Hello, today I thought I'd just show you my phone and some of the sailing apps that I have on it. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, one knot guide, which um, I use when I'm teaching to show people various knots and uh, I recommend that if you're learning your knots. Uh, it was, uh, I think, a free download when I downloaded it. As you can see, there's a there's pretty much every knot you can think of. I've got various favourites in there. Some knots that I don't use on a regular basis, so just to keep to hand. Um, and there's sailing knots as well. So you can go through, there we are, sailing knots, 38 sailing knots shown. Uh, bowling, obviously, near the top. And it's just a simple way you just click through, it shows you how to tie the knot bit by bit. So, uh, yep, yeah, all the knots are there that you need to know, um, well, much more than the knots that you need to know. But um, there's the reef knot. And basically, there's a lot more, more complicated knots as well. Everything in one little app. Um, so, what else have we got here? Solent Met. That's an app for sailing around in the Solent, I find quite useful. Um, it basically just shows various locations that have got little weather stations on them. That's Bramble Met, which is on Bramble Bank. It shows you mean wind speed, gust, tidal, heights, air pressures, etc. And just gives a, um, it's a weather station, gives you real time weather information. Um, then there's Boaty. And Boaty is just one of many different boat apps that gives you information on both weather forecasts, the inshore forecast and the uh, shipping forecast. And you can select the area that you want. And also you can look at synoptic charts for, um, for over a period of time. And this information is all coming from the Met Office. Um, you've also got um, uh, interactive tides so you can click on an interactive and um, for the whole of the UK it shows tidal streams and tidal flows um, for a particular time and day I think it's about seven days at a time around the, the, the actual time that you've got and you can scroll through and it shows you tidal streams and um, graphically shows you the strength of tidal streams in specific areas at specific times as well and you can zoom in and get down to quite a good scale so it'll show you what's happening with tide over the tidal period uh, so that's quite handy um, and then this is more detailed tidal height information relating here to the port of Portsmouth but obviously you can go to various other ports it shows you where you are in the um, in the lunar cycle as well and then this is just uh, basically giving you GPS information speed and course so um, again handy to have in your pocket uh, next uh, some more weather apps so predict wind which is a, a website that I use fairly regularly and that just gives you quite detailed predictive information based on a variety of different weather models that you can select and choose and it gives it either in tabular format or alternatively in um, chart format and you can either you can get it free or you can pay for it I think after you've got two favorite locations saved you have to pay per month for predict wind um, and there we are. It's a sort of that's a sort of uh, predict winds go at um, at windy in terms of showing color coded gribs. Um, so the little arrows there, you can see um, an arrow with two long flights on the back of it is a twenty knot wind strength, and um, one long one small is fifteen knots, and that's how that works. Um, this is one of my favourites. This is um, uh, this is windy. So windy, you can see the, the, the planet's weather, and you can then zoom in locally. 
the great thing about it is it very clearly shows you where the systems are and gives you quite a good understanding of what's happening and why. Um, so I think uh, as well as actual weather forecasts by day and time, it also shows you uh, things like when you're going to have fronts coming through uh, and what might happen if the front went further north and all this sort of stuff. So you can actually look at the weather and understand it in quite a bit of detail. Um, so I, I, I quite like using Windy and find it quite a... It, it's based on the same sort of models as all the other apps. And um, it just um, gives you quite a bit of information and it's uh, relatively, relatively accurate. And then you can get it in tabular format as well. So whichever you prefer. And it'll also give you things like um, wave height, uh, which obviously is very important for passage planning. And then uh, this is a Tidal app, which I use. This is a paid app. It's about five pounds a year. You have to renew it every year. You can select any port in the UK or Northern Europe. And it'll give you tidal information for that port, either tabular or in a graphical format. And uh, it's quite handy if you don't want to keep diving down to the almanac. You can just jump into this information and it'll give you a ready record, very quick, uh, an easy uh, look at what tidal information is available. Um, and uh, yeah, I find that quite useful. So, um, Oh, one last thing that um, I think Ship Finder. So this is one of many. It's a free app, and it shows you all shipping um, as transmitted from their AIS to a ground station, and then onto the internet. And uh, as you can see, this is real time or close to real time, about 15 minutes, I think, uh, delay um, of shipping in the Solent. So anyway, that's just a few of the um, apps that I've got on my phone. Uh, I'd be interested to know what apps you recommend. But in the meantime, uh, thanks very much for listening.